This video will be about a theory that has failed. I know very few people like theory or even talking about theory, but it's important. I maintain a separation from medicine and that I do not use the word cure, that I restrict myself to people who have the greatest of motivations when they're 2040 or 2050 and for the most part entering a four-year college and truly don't want to stay at 2040 and want to get out of it. This requires a great deal of intelligence, insight, and motivation. And some people have the insight, but they almost never had the motivation because the motivation is to get rid of the near environment when you're at 2040. Whether you will do that or take it seriously, I do not know. I really don't think most people can summon the motivation up to actually do it. Some people have done it in various ways. Uh, Todd Becker has done it. But I really think uh, this only works with a mild prescription. It works if you have your own Snellen and you set a goal that's reasonable, like reasonable to pass the 2030 line on your home Snellen, bright light on the Snellen. No one who is medical can do this for you. That's just impossible. So let's go back to the concept or theory that I support. This is like talking about forest and trees. If you're looking at a tree and looking at a leaf on a tree, you're not going to be talking to me. If you're looking at the all overall performance of the entire forest as a movement of wind, in the trees, then perhaps that I will make sense. Uh, emotropization, interesting word. It comes from a bad theory, a mistaken assumption, and it continues to be argued that the eyes are frozen box camera. In a vast big picture of all normal eyes, the eye is not that camera, that is not frozen. The eye controls its refractive state to its average of accommodation. Thus, when somebody says the eye amatropizes, which means it wants to go to zero diopters, in science, the eye does not know where zero diopters might be. It sets its focus to the average value of accommodation. Because in science, the eye changes its refractive state as the accommodation system is changed in value. Again, that's science, and don't bother getting into a medical argument about it. Now, a lot of this came from an optometrist, Jacob Rafelson, who realized some of these problems with the theory and made statements to the effect that uh, the minus lens was poison when you're at 2040. The barrier nose on the pages for two years will create a negative state for normal eyes and various statements like this. But with respect to Rafelson and everybody's medical, after you put your eyes in the books for two years and your refractive state is now mildly negative, having can't see the 2040 line, you go to an optometrist and what is he thinking? Well, He's thinking you want your vision made extremely sharp. This means he'll start putting strong minus lenses on until he gets to 2020, 2018, 2015, 2013. This is called best visual acuity sphere, which means if you can get 2010 out of the eye, even though it has 2030, you'll get a minus two doctor lens, period, no discussion. No review, nothing. I personally agree that everybody wants that strong minus when they're 2040. I'm sorry, let's face that fact. <coughs> Most people are intimidated by a doctor's office. I wouldn't go there. I just say, I agree, they can't do anything about it. The question is, do you want to do something about it when you're 2040? Again, I see people really pity do not like the concept of using a plus for prevention when they're 2040.
self-checked. In that sense, I agree with the guy in his office. He's not going to try and persuade you to prevent in any sense of the word because he knows you're not going to do it. And I agree with him. You're not going to do it. So, back to emotropia, emotropization. The eye doesn't do that. The eye doesn't know where zero is. In a primate study by a Mr. Smith, he put a minus three on the eye, and the eye's refractive state followed the accommodation signals. signal. He did it in both directions, plus and minus, and the eye followed the accommodation system. That is science. It is totally ignored, even ridiculed, in optometry. I realize a massive amount of money is involved in this. Massive amount of pride and prestige is involved. And I really don't want to get into that battle. It's not my job to get in that fight. Uh, if you really want to get into the science of it, certainly you should do so. But please don't call a refractive state that is normal a medical defect requiring medical attention because that will totally mess you up. I guarantee it. I personally measure my own refractive state using a trial lens. I check my visual acuity. <coughs> I agree most people don't have the interest. I don't make claims of success much beyond 2040. That's up to you. In the future, if I were a military cadet entering a four-year college at 2040, it'd be nice if somebody looked at me in the eye and told me the truth. But that has not yet happened. People who want to tell you the truth are rare. People who want to help you avoid this situation are very rare. But at least let me list Todd Becker and Jake Steiner. Jake, for his own reasons, is promoting prevention, maybe recovery, but you're not going to know anything until you look at your own Snellen and start checking yourself. There is one problem I have with mo most people. I ask them to look at a chart, say with mild prescription, and they don't do it. I think they're crazy. If you're not looking at your chart, you're not helping yourself. Granted, at minus seven, you can't look at a chart. But at minus a half or minus one, you're probably going to be close to 2040. Now, why does 2040? 2040 passes the DMV test, which means you're legally able to drive a car if you go down to the DMV and read their 2040 line for them. Personally, I would want to do better than that. Personally, I'd probably get a minus lens for driving at night if I were 2040 to 2050, only safety as a consideration. But I would also expect over a period of a year to slowly get back to 2020 by this plus lens wearing in school for four years. So that's science. So please don't mess up and think that the science I report on, which is the entire forest and how it changes, from the people who are managing individual leaves, leaves on a tree, there's no connection. How you get a perspective on science is largely up to you. And nobody can do that for you. We have abdicated that pilots be offered this solution as they're in a four-year college because we know the eye, natural eye goes down at a steady rate of a half doctor per year if nothing is done. Which means that if you're at minus one entering a four-year college, you'll be minus three or 2200 when you graduate from that college. It's a shame that nobody trusts your intelligence to tell you that. That is one huge failing in medicine. They won't tell you anything. That is science. So think it over. Watch my videos, go through and watch Jake Steiner, who I strongly support, and make your own choices. I only advocate this for people with 2040 entering a four-year college who really want to keep their vision and are prepared to take scientific responsibility for themselves.
Thank you very much.